Okay, I'm very, very busy at the moment. I said that these videos were gonna be rough and I thought I would have time this week to do things and like, in theory I did, but I was busy. I've been busy and I'm, I'm actually filming this a day early because I won't have time to film anything tomorrow because my friend is coming over and uh, I have an essay due in uh, about like 25 hours. It's not written. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. So um, I'm kind of busy and I'm kind of avoiding all my responsibilities at the moment, but we're going to talk. We're going to we're have a nice chat for a little bit. Um, yesterday. I went to um, this award show for like a bunch of like high school theater like schools like around the state like are judged and we go to this award show. That was this award show. That was really badly explained. But we went to this award show, me and a bunch of my friends, and it was so good. Everyone there was so talented. And like there was there's this one guy in the musical who is just so arrogant and he just thinks that we're the best and, and he was really the front runner for making everyone believe that we we're gonna get nominated for something even though we were not we were so clearly not and every time i was like we're not gonna get nominated they're like sam why are you being so negative and now they can see why these are the people we're going up against the people who won overall musical amazing the guy who won best like leading actor like his like whole like show they did curtains it was so good like i didn't like we don't get to see the whole show we get to see like one number from each um, musical that's nominated for best overall musical and Curtains was so good and like hopefully this could be like a wake-up call to be like yeah we suck maybe get your shit together so yeah it's frustrating but my friend who is really like one of the only friends that I have like within the show my hand's shaking so much I'm so sorry let's find a different way to hold this um that's not gonna be any better but we're gonna try the oh I have two hands left hand is that easier see these are the things that you see when I don't cut anything out that's a low angle but we're just gonna maybe maybe not we're gonna hold it with both hands um but what was I saying my friend my friend she's great uh she told me during lunch like a few months ago that like when we were the thick of the musical um I can lean on this side because I'm smart. When we were in like the thick of the musical that if she was like, if I ever say I want to do the musical ever again, you need to slap me because I will never do this again. And like once you go to these like award shows, this, this is the same thing that happened to me last year. It's like you get so inspired to do musical theater because you're like, oh, it's so good. And we could just like try again and make it better. But then you do it again and then you get sucked in and it sucks and you hate it. So we're not doing this again. Like she dropped me off after the award show and she was like, I, I really want to do it again next year. And I'm like, well, well, please don't. Cause you told me to slap you if you ever did it again. And I don't want to slap you. So, you know, just don't do it. It's really awful. It's like, you can only fix something so much single-handedly. Like you're, you can only push a boulder so far up a hill before you get crushed by it yourself. You know, it only, it doesn't work. It's you're fighting a losing battle. It's, it's just, no. But the award show was great. I wore such a nice, simple outfit because last year I went so, like, grand with it. I do not know why. So this year it was, like, more simple, but I wore shoes. That killed me. They were, like, three-inch heels, but, like, you know, you gotta just do what makes you happy. So I did that. It was fun. It was a wonderful night. But then... We're in today and I haven't finished my essay. It's like not even a hard essay to do. Like it's max 900 words, but I just need to like write it. And I just, the will to do things is so low. I'm just so tired. I have my theater file tomorrow and I'm like low key worried, but also I have 138% in that class. So if I get a zero, does it really matter? Like, no. So it's just sort of like a, ugh, does anything matter? But also everything matters. Because my stupid math teacher hasn't put anything in the grade book. I want to stab him. Like, we've literally taken, like, three tests and done a presentation. And he's put nothing in the grade book. And it's so stressful. Because I did really well in my presentation. I'm kind of shaken. Because I did not think that I did that well. Because I talked so fast. Like, when I usually, like, time myself to do it, it was over ten minutes. But then when I actually did the presentation, it was eight minutes. So I talked so fast but I got a 20 out of 20 so I'm like yay but that's that's my presentation score which is different than my project score so like we're gonna see what happens with that I'm real worried but I'm hoping 
for the best because if I don't get an A in this class, I will die. So <laughs> that's fun. Um, yeah, uh, I get to leave school so early tomorrow though because it's an early dismissal on top of an assembly and I do not go to the assemblies even though they are mandatory for some reason and they don't want us to leave. I don't understand why they want that. If someone's trying to leave and not go to the assembly, like these are pep assemblies, I, I skip all the assemblies honestly, but like especially for the pep assemblies, like if someone is leaving, they clearly don't want to be there. Why would you want someone who has like no will to be there be at a pep assembly? They will have no pep. Like they don't want to be there. Like it's awful. I don't know why they would want that. So I haven't gone to an assembly all year and I'm not starting today and like really, I'm 100% sure no one's going to try to stop me, but even if they do, like, what are, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Like, what can they really do? Like, they can, I'm gonna say, you can't touch me. Like, I'm leaving the campus, and what are you gonna do? Call my, my mom? My mom knows that I'm leaving. Like, you can't stop me. Like, I really just have no will to care at this point, because, like, if they, like, even mark me absent, they can't really, because it's not class, but, like, I have a lot more absences, absences this year than I did last year because I'm just like, I skip class. I just don't care. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm there or if I'm not there because my grade will basically be the same. And like, the only thing that they threaten you with is like, you can't go to all these school functions. And I'm like, I wasn't going anyways, so. And they're like, you can't go to the dance and you can't go to all these events. And I'm like, I was not, I was, I was not going anyways. I would gladly not be able to go. So, I don't know. It's just, there's no incentive to do anything anymore so huh school is great school is fun school is fantastic I'm so tired I have so many things to do I have another essay I have an essay reflection that I haven't done it's gone into the grade book as a zero and it's brought down by grade but it's really not brought it down by any like significance so I still haven't done it and uh the printer at uh the school is broken and i'm pretty sure that they're not going to spend any money to fix it because we're at the end of the year but like it's fun being in an uh an underfunded public school it's really fun um ah uh, school is just kind of awful i'm so tired i'm so tired science class is really annoying everyone like all of the biology teachers keep telling us that they're we're gonna have a project but they won't tell us what the project is and we have like four days of school left. We have like three full days. Cause like we get out next Friday. So like the, not the Friday following the, the day that this uploads, but the next Friday is our last day. So like we don't have a full day this Wednesday cause I'm filming this on the Tuesday before this go, comes out. We don't have a full day Wednesday. We don't have a full day Thursday. And then we have finals on Wednesday and Thursday, so just really like four days, because we have this Friday, fi the last day Friday, which no one's gonna do anything on that day, so it basically doesn't count. Then Monday and Tuesday, and I'm like, when are we gonna have time for the secret project? Like, I don't under, I don't, I don't understand when we're gonna have time for the secret project, because like we don't have any time for anything. I'm just so stressed. Oh, and I also have a unit test in math on Friday. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> I'm so fucking stressed out. I'm at that weird state of like, like all around stress where you're just sort of like, it's not like you're shaking, but you're like buzzing like so fast because everything's just sort of like, ah, but you're also just screaming about so many things that it's just sort of white noise. Like, I'm just, ah, I really need to be doing things. But I also just have no will to do things, you know? It's kind of a mess. I guess. I finished reading Lord of the Flies for my language arts class and that book is fucked up, my god. <laughs> they just be killing kids out there like, damn. I don't have many thoughts about that book because I hate books. Like, I read 1984 last year because our language arts teacher was very, like, strict with the fact that if we're gonna take like an advanced test on it or like the AP test or something that they would reference a bunch of these like classic books so we would have to read them so I read a bunch of really old books that were really boring like I had to read 1984 I had to read that other book about time travel the really old one it was so boring I really did not read it I cliff notes that shit because it's so boring I also didn't finish 1984 because that book was so boring 
oh my god and just like the lord replies it's so symbolism heavy and i'm just like just say what you mean like i don't have time for all that kind of symbolism i don't i, I do not i do not i just i'm like i hate reading between the lines because they're like yes there is a conch and there's glasses and there's fire but what does it mean and i'm like i don't care <laughs> like give me a plot give me an interesting plot i do not care what it means like I, I know that that's like very surface level and probably stupid thinking to like you need to dig deeper to show that you're no 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 <laughs> i don't got that kind of time oh my god but i have to write an essay about it i have to write about like the interesting ideas and because i could not talk about it like I said in the last one, but there's a show that I'm watching, and hopefully this gives away no hints, but it, it's, uh, it talks about psychology, and I'm using my knowledge from that show to put it into this novel, because I'm in, in full belief that Jack is a sociopath. He fits the homicidal triad. Almost three out of three, and we can't even prove that the third one doesn't exist, so... Like, cruelty towards animals, you know, pyromania. We cannot disprove the bedwetting. Therefore, it is probably true. So, he is, uh, he, he is a sociopath. I do not trust him. He's a fucking crazy person. Jack really, oh my god. Jack has so many issues. We should have killed him when we had the chance. When he was like, let's suggest the fact that my group of boys should be hunters. Ralph should have been like, that's a bit sketchy. How about Sam and Eric go stab him just while he's sleeping just to like avoid this whole issue together. But they were too civilized at the beginning of the book to do that. But Jack be crazy. And I want, I'm talking about this whole idea of Folia do, or in this case, familia, folia film, familia. I don't know how to say it in French. How like the the multiple one, but like when one when you're like isolating a bunch of people and like a few of them or like one person's like crazy and like they make everyone else crazy. It's like that idea. Like you like all gain the the what's it called psychotic behaviors. It's, it's an idea that I'm trying to implement in a 900 word essay. It's like not going the best. That's why I'm kind of just like, I don't want to write this. Um, I really could just write about something easier, but I never like to write about things that are easy because they're always boring essays. Because I don't like to write boring essays because I don't want to read boring essays. So, you know, I like to write about things that are different and new and interesting. I tried to do that with my last essay and it did not work out. Apparently trying to write about gay things to a straight teacher just doesn't really work because <laughs> I was writing about Haley Kiyoko and about how she's basi basically a 19th century poet and like comparing like 19th century poetry to Haley Kiyoko music and like pro I got like a B on it which is like okay and it's probably also because I wrote it just in one straight sitting at six hours because that was during the height of the musical and I did not have that kind of time so it's probably, yeah, it's honestly not my best work, but like also, like my title was from, was from the 19th century to 2018, and like the note on that was, I don't know what this means, and I'm like, yeah, it's because you're straight. <laughs> you don't understand gay slang. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> um, that, yeah, I've just been thinking about that because I need to do like a whole reflection on that, be like, what could I have done better? I probably could have written it earlier, <laughs> like this essay. <laughs> Say. Literally on every single one of my reflections that I've done for the whole year, it's been like, what can you do better? It's always start my essay sooner, and here I am. I have in fact started it, but I have not finished it. Oh my god, I need to do my essay. But it's fine, because we, because this video has already gone on so fucking long, and I have one more point I want to make. I really should not have drawn it out this long, but it's fine. I am a person. Not, this is not common knowledge. I love Five Seconds of Summer. I love them so much. I have loved them for years. Ever since they came out with their first EP, Five Seconds of Summer, the one with like um, Heartbreak Girl, Out of My Limit, like that shit is my shit. I fuck with their music so hard. So I'm so glad that they're back and I love um, Young Blood and I can only think of the new Backstreet Boys song, which is not their new song. What is their song? It's it's very colorful. Oh my god, hold on. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Oh, I'm so mad that I cannot remember the name of this song. It's not Youngblood, it's the other one. It's the other new one. It's... 
Oh my god, and I can't even edit this part out. I'm, you're just sitting here waiting for me to think of it, and some of you may actually know this song. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're doing this because I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna scream if I don't remember it. Want you back. That's the title of the song. There we go. I'm just, I'm watching an interview with them, but I love their music. I, lo I have loved their music for so long. Like, honestly, since that EP came out, like, before She Looks So Perfect, I have loved them for so long. And I, I am so excited for this new wave of music, just like I am with the 1975. And, but, like, I'm watching interviews with them because I, I do not want to write this essay. And... As a person who has like seen them grow up and knows what their voices sound like, their accents are so American. Cause I was watching um, the, the chatting with cocktails like videos and I was like, their accents are no longer Australian. Am I crazy? And no one in the comments was talking about it. But then I saw like this recommended video where they were talking about how they're losing their Australian accents. I'm like, thank you. Someone else is noticing. I'm not just crazy because I'm like hearing them and they're like, a very distinct thing between like Australian and American accents is that like they really, we really pronounce like our R's. Like when we say like, we are going to the park, like something like that, where we, where we really emphasize the R's, especially if like something ends in like E-R, like, um, I have now forgotten all words, but you know what I mean, <laughs> like a, a drawer. That's not a good explanation. I don't know, like, like some, just like words that end in ER, like racer, that's a good one. Eraser, like we pronounce all of the R's in that, but if you're using like a British or an American accent, like, or, or an Australian accent, like you drop the R's, like you say like eraser, or like, I can't, I can't do Australian, eraser. That sounded the same, but you just, you drop the R's at the end of words. But they pronounce all of their R's now, and they say things where it's just so American. And I'm like, am I crazy? Or are they really just American now? And like, in this whole interview, they go into like, they've apparently lived in LA for a while now. And I'm like, yes, your your American accents are very much real. And I'm like, it, I, it, it. <sighs> I'm not against it per se. I don't think it should matter what their accents are, but it's just, it's different and it's weird and I am uncomfortable with the idea for the time being. I will get used to it once I get like, once I get their new voices into my head, but I just have this idea of their very Australian accents. And now it's just like, not that. And I'm like, what happened? <laughs> but I love Five Six of the Summer. I'm very excited for the new album. Will I go see them in concert is the real question. And October because uh, this girl does not have the coins to go see their concert so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens but um that is that is the main point that I wanted to make because I was just watching this interview about how they're losing their Australian action accents and I, had to, I wanted to discuss so this video is very very long and I wish I could edit it but we don't have that kind of time because I need to write an essay